This is Todd Vieira, Director of Customer Engagements at Brainship. You just saw all the functionality of the ADK 1000 SOC, currently in production at TSMC 28 nanometer. Today we'll be reviewing the ADK MPU and demonstrating how we're solving problems at the edge others aren't. The first demonstration you're gonna see is on visual wake word. Uh, person detection model with uh, mobile net V1.25, 210,000 parameters, 14 MPUs, and using 178 kilobytes of SRAM. Our results on a floating point accuracy of 32 bit was 90.7, and we quantized down to four bit weights and activation and got a accuracy of 89.7 with 10 frames per second and 100 milliseconds of latency and the total power only 1.5 milliwatts. Now the key thing in this demo, the problems we're solving the customers um, aren't seeing, aren't, are seeing they, that others can't do, is detecting a person in frame when they're a small portion of that frame. So as I turn the demo on, you'll see someone walking across a parking lot and that, person detection is a very small portion of the in-frame movement by a human. And you're seeing a lot of these sensors uh, with artificial intelligence not being able to pick up a person of that proportion to the uh, overall image. The next demonstration we're going to be showing you is an industrial IoT fruit classification and detection. The key thing here is looking at the number of classes six with your accuracy and a 32 bit flo floating point 96.9 and brain chips floating point accuracy of 97 using 32 bits. But we quantize down to four bits, four weights in activation. And instead of using MobileNet V2, we use MobileNet V1 to get a better accuracy, lower power, and a lower number of parameters, which is really key for some of these edge devices sitting at the sensor. And our frames per second is 10 with a total power of 24 milliwatts. And if you need a little higher frame rate, uh, you could go to 30 frames per second or even higher, but then your power will scale with that. So as you can see with this demo, uh, we're gonna be uh, adding in with one shot learning all the fruit. Now, we've already done the fruit for uh, time's sake here on this demo and just adding in the classification of a rotten banana. And we'll go, in, go on an inference from here, fresh banana, et cetera. And the key thing about this is we've already extracted all these features offline with our MetaTF tool and a TensorFlow Keras flow. And we've use that last fully connected layer to add on-chip learning and add these fruits in there to be determined at the device for device classification. Or you can do personalization or it could be you know, in there automatically in your data set as well. So he's gone through the rotten apple, there's a fresh apple, This is true edge learning where it's actually learned and the neurons are using that without a loss of accuracy. So the final demo demonstration we're gonna do is face identification and classification at the edge. And we're using a mobile face net to run on Akita, uh, 450K images it was trained with, quantized to four bit weights and activation. And we used uh, edge inference learning with 10 classes with learning enabled at the edge. More can be added if you want, but uh, we thought 10 was a good one here. And the result accuracy is 88.61, 44% sparsity because of the inherent sparsity in designs. That's one of the reasons why we have lower power. 10 frames per second at 100 milliseconds latency, only using 12 nodes or 50 MPUs and we use about uh, 900 kilobytes of memory and a total power of 19 milliwatts. So I'm gonna start the demo here. And this is really nice for uh, device personalization. 
we're seeing people who may want to personalize a TV or a car or different applications where you want to recognize and give functionality only to the people that you've actually uh, characterized and identified and added in at the edge. So they added in Anil, they added in Aaron. Uh, as I said before, we've already added a few people for time's sake. Uh, Aaron goes back, gets recognized, jumps back in, recognizes his face. One shot, all these different people are getting recognized. Rob tries to trick the camera out. Rob is our VP of sales, coming back in. Now we'll move around. One shot, recognizing Rob. Going back through, you know, various different uh, angles, it's still recognizing a nail. One of the nice things about Akita as well, if it doesn't quite get it with one shot, you can add a second shot in there, which you saw in the fruit demo. Some, uh, we did two shots just to get uh, more crisp learning on there. So it really looked at those features. And Chris, who was our demo person, was the last person on there to get uh, characterized. So uh, Akita's MPU with ultra low power. Um, the benefits, we take advantage of BrainChip's ultra low power for SOC or IP for chip integration. We handle various issues current solutions don't. With one shot learning, no need to retrain in the cloud for a few class classifications or for device personalizations. These edge devices sit next to the sensor and they have very stringent requirements. These are just a few of many applications supported by BrainChip's Akita MPU. Tell us what your next design is all about. Thank you. Learn more about BrainChip at www.brainchip.com or you can email us at sales at brainchip.com or you can stay after this session for a Q&A. Thank you.